first and foremost, I know I haven't been posting lately for like a few months now, maybe one or two months, but if you have read my community post, you would have understood. So now I finally have an idea, finally, and it's not going to be, not going to be, um, something satire, it's not going to be any comedy or anything like that. No, that's not going to be it. For this video, I'm going to be expressing my opinions on a subject that I've been thinking about for a while now. That is being shark movies. Now, before I start, I am going to say this right now. My intention is just constructive criticism. No intention at all about harming any person. No. Not my intention. This is just me expressing my opinions on shark movies today and what they were back then. So I hope you guys understand this. So, without further of any delays, or anything like that. Let's just start this, shall we? So, I don't really know about what the when the first ever shark movie was ever made. It was probably something way back. But all I know was Jaws was never the first one. There were many other movies before that. There were. For example, there was a movie made back in 1969 that was called Shark with a capital, well, not with a capital, um, a, a explanation point, explanation mark at the end. And that movie, I haven't really seen it, but what I heard from it, what I know from it, was that a real person, was that a person actually died in the movie. Not just like in an acting point, but actually died in real life by a shark. But I'll, I'll explain more on that later. But all I know is that Jaws was never the first one. It will never be the first one. It will be the first blockbuster, but not the first ever shark movie, because there were others before that. So, what I think about shark movies from the past, like from the 70s, 60s, or probably back then from the 1900s... Well... Some are... Honestly... They're kind of just a bit of a mix, in my opinion. I mean, some of them are very low budget, because some are just pretty unser... Well, not... Pretty unlikable, if there actually were. But however, I will say, there are some that are actually really superior. Now, Jaws is the biggest example of this. But, I'm gonna be honest real quick, I'm not actually gonna be mentioning anything about Jaws in this, because... I believe it's been mentioned way too much, in my opinion. So, just for the other sake, I will say some shark movies from the 70s were kind of, eh, they were, but Jaws, but it is good, it is good, but that's just something from another topic, because I believe that has its own base to talk about. So yeah, I believe some shark movies actually were kind of just a mix of bad, pretty much bad from the start. For example, there was a shark movie made from 1977 called Tintorera, aka T Tintorera Tiger Shark, which does something different that a lot of other shark movies have it done. Have a tiger shark as the main killing protagonist, instead of just being just a regular white shark. Which is something that, that is a bit of a cat, that is a bit of a change throughout, considering that tiger sharks are like the third most deadly shark, but the film though is still just, ugh, just, nah. I haven't seen it, but I did see some, I did see some scenes from it, which were very terrible. Did I forget to mention the fact that they actually killed sharks in this movie? Not like an acting, not like in an acting way, but like, literally, in real life. Seriously. But it was from the 70s, so... What do you have to say? Another shark movie that was made around back 
1976, right after Jaws, was a movie called Mako, The Jaws of Death, which sounds like a movie about a story about a short fin Mako shark rather than like a, like a white shark, but instead, it's just a tiger shark. Like, seriously, like, what the heck? It's literally... It's titled Mako, the Jaws of Death. There is a species of shark, actually actually two species of sharks. One a short fin Mako shark and one a long fin Mako shark. And instead of that, you're just gonna have to use a tiger shark? That doesn't make any sense. That literally doesn't. It really doesn't. Once again, I'm saying this is just constructive criticism. Okay, this is just my opinions. Now, as the 80s went around, as the 70s began to end, the 80s began to round up. And, af and while that, we actually got a whole bunch of other shark movies. Well, I believe a few. I believe a few. One of the examples of shark movies made from the 80s was an, an Italian movie made back in 1981 called The Last Shark also known in the United States as Great White. Now, I have seen that movie, and I will say, it does... It is a mix of good and bad, in my opinion. It's not... I'm not saying it's a good film. It is pretty terrible, considering that it does have some of the, like, pretty poorly effects and some ridiculous, ridiculous things in it. Like, for example, when a shunk, When a shark... When the shark, like like, bumps like a boat or something, it's like an explosion. It's like a literal explosion. A shark would never, ever do that. That's not even possible. Literally. And some of the death scenes in that were pretty cheesy. Yeah, that's pretty much a description of most shark movies from the 70s to the 80s. Well, except for Jaws, but again, I'm not mentioning that. But that's what the description for most set most shark movies out there. Cheesy. Just plain cheesy. Well, like I was saying, even though that movie was pretty... pretty bad, it wasn't all good also. It was also not really bad as well. It's just a mix. It's just a simple mix. I'm not saying it's good, though, but it's just pretty terrible. Oh, by the way, here's a bit of a fun fact. When the movie was released in theaters, Universal Pictures, who was the person, who was the company who was, who holded the property of the movie Jaws, sued the company Variety Films for making The Last Shark, and pulled it out of theaters, claiming that it quote unquote plagiarized Jaws. And as I watched those two movies back to back, I gotta say, I can see why. I can literally see why. Now, I will say there are... I don't think there's any other shark movies out there that were from the 80s. I can't really remember. Um, I know we had two Jaws sequels from the 80s. Uh, let me think. Um... I got nothing. I got nothing. So I guess we're just going to have to move on to the 90s now. So once again, as the 80s began to and the 90s began to begin. And we did get a, a majority of shark movies there and there. We, we did get a majority of those in the 90s. Now, I will say there are some... Oh, sorry. I will say there are some shark movies out there from the 90s that I will say were decent. Decent. I will say they were decent. One of the examples from that was the movie Deep Blue Sea from 1999. That one was actually, I know a lot of people say it, but that was actually a really good one. As it once again actually has a bit of a displayment as it is and it looks and it looks badass. It, it actually does. But with the sequels, though, they were not really as good. I mean, they don't really look good, in my opinion. They haven't. So, 
I will say, but Deep Blue Sea was by far, it's my second favorite shark movie, by the way, aside, aside Jaws. But I will say, it does actually have a bit of a story element that actually, in my opinion, looked very unique. Like, for example, that they use a different kind of species of shark. In that movie, the sharks looked like mako sharks. They looked like short fin mako sharks. But however, according to the movie, they, they were described as tiger sharks. What? Once again, constructive criticism, but those do not look like tiger sharks. They really don't. They really don't. Because mako sharks are known to have like a like a pointed snout. Mako sharks are known to have like a pointed snout. But with tiger sharks on the other hand, they are more more ha Oops, tongue twist. They were more likely to have a more bulky, bulky snout. Like a squared shaped snout. Sorta. So yeah, I mean, Deep Blue Sea was great, but it was good. But it is, it does have some criticisms there and there, in my opinion. So, once again, we are still at the 90s, but that was just an example of what I was talking about. Now, with these shark movies from the 90s, they, I will say, they do have a bit of some badness. There are some bad stuff in there. And I will say, they look, ugh, they look too extreme. One of the examples was another movie made from 1999, and that would be, that was a movie called Shark Attack. That movie was pretty much, I haven't really seen the entire thing, so I don't, I'm not really sure what the plot is, if I'm going to be honest, but... I will say this. I think 40% of that movie is just going to see some, like, people just beat their asses. Seriously. I think 40%... I've seen, like, a few parts of that. And I will say 40% of the movie was just characters kicking kicking ass. Like, seriously. Like, guns. Like, bam, bam. Like, all that. That wasn't necessary. Some of it was. But... All of that wasn't. And I will say there were some shark moments in there. I'm not saying this because I've seen it, but I will say there were some shark moments in that movie that I, I've seen parts of it. Just saying. Now, as the 90s began to drop down and end, we entered into the 2000s, the early 2000s. And... I don't know what to say, but I will say they were just pretty awful. Sorry. But like what I was saying, yeah, so some of the shark movies were pretty terrible from the early 2000s. An example of this was a sequel to um, the Shark Attack movie, which I talked about on, in the 90s. And that was a movie called Shark Attack 3 Megalodon, which is about the story about this saying that this 60 foot long shark is still alive in the water. I think the movie was 60 feet, but like, and it, it was winning and attacking people. So it was like the earliest, it was like the earliest, it's like the early 2000s version of the Meg. Don't worry, I'll get to that later. But yeah, like I was saying, Shark Attack 3 Megalodon, in my opinion, was like the earliest version of the Meg. Pretty much. It was like the Meg, long before the Meg even began. I think. But like... It was just pretty awful, and also... I think kind of hilarious. Really. Kind of hilarious. Like... I, I should have said this in the beginning... Spoilers, I think, will be there. Uh, like, I was, I should have said this in the beginning. Spoilers. By the way, there is a scene in that movie where, like, this ship with a bunch of wealthy people 
get under attack by this large shark. <clears throat> Sorry. And one of the and the and one of the fancy women, he, he try she tries to like put on a life vest, but then out of nowhere this fancy dude comes up, takes her vest, and then jumps in, only to get consumed by that shark. What does that imply? <clears throat> My apologies, but like, still, what does that imply? That makes literally no sense. I mean, you don't treat women like that. You don't just take their stuff. You wouldn't do that to a woman, would you? Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, um, what else is there? Um, I'm gonna be honest right now. I literally don't remember. If <clears throat> sorry, um, but oh, oh, I got one. I got one. I got a very, very good one. A terrible one in my. One second. <clears throat> I am not sick. It's just I haven't drank lately. So after this video, I'm going to drink H2O. I'm just going to drink a bunch of H2O. That's water, by the way, in like a science way. But like I was saying, yeah. <clears throat> I'll drink water after this. But like, there was this movie, I believe it was made around 2007, I think. And it was this movie called Hammerhead. And... I'm going to ask you this right now. What do you think of when you think of the movie, think of a movie titled Hammerhead? I'll give you a minute to think. You got it? All right. If you think of a woman giving birth to a fetus that turns into a humanoid hammerhead shark, well, you would be right. Because in that movie, a woman literally gives, like, I think it was, but, like, a woman literally gives birth to, like, a fetus that grows and turns into, like, a humanoid hammerhead shark. Now, I will say that this, that that is kind of ridiculous. But I will say at the same time, that is literally badass. I mean, I don't like the idea about this woman giving birth to, like, a fetus that turns into, like, something, but, like, just the concept of the fetus turning into, like, a humanoid shark. I will say that actually is kind of unique. Really. But I'm not saying the movie is good, though. It's I haven't seen it, but I did see some of the effects in it. And they weren't up to its time. They weren't really up to its time, in my opinion. Now, as the two, early 2000s end, we got to the, the 2010s. I think that's what it is from, like, the 2010s. And I will say, we got the worst out there. We literally got the, the worst out there. Literally the worst. Like, we got a movie about a shark, uh, about a half shark, half octopus. A movie about... A half shark, half dinosaur like thing. There's even like this. Um. A movie about a shark that turns into like a ghost and starts killing people to around any sort of water. You name it, it will kill you in like a toilet, in a bathtub, in a pool, and even when you're drinking water, it will kill you. So, but yeah, it was just. It was just pretty much... It, we got probably the worst kind out there. Like, we got, like, movies about, like, sharks turning into ghosts. Like, I said this again. Sharks turning into ghosts, killing people, and, like, any kind of water out there. Like, any amount. Um, a movie about a giant shark fighting literally anything you could think of. Like a... Like, um, a giant octopus. Uh, like a giant crocodile... Um, what else? Um, 
this huge like robotic human being with like muscles like inside muscles that has like the, like the muscular system and um and even there was this one movie about this giant shark fighting a robotic shark like literally I know it's from the like the Mega Shark series. I know their name. I know the name, but like, <clears throat> sorry, um, but yeah, it was just <sighs> seriously. I know. I understand that movies can be whatever they are because movies in real life are completely different things. But a lot of it comes out as being just cheesy and painful. Literally. Um, what else? What else was there? Um. Yeah. I, literally, I just will say, yeah, we did get the worst. We did get terrible ones. Like... Seriously, I mean, I will say, like, as we enter into the 2020s, I will say, it was pretty bad when we were in the 10s, like when we were in the 2010s, because they were just so painfully bad. They were actually kind of cringe, in my opinion. Like, some of them, I'm not saying that they're bad, I'm not saying that it's cringe, cringe is a, like a different thing when it comes to like bad stuff, but like, It is bad. Like, the effects, ugh. The acting, ugh. Just the story element, just, eh. Now, I will say, we also did get into Sun Island in the 2010s, I will say. We did actually get some actually awesome ones. For example, in 2018, we got a movie of an, or actually not really a movie, but more of an adaptation of like a novel or more like a series of novels just to say that was a movie called the meg starring jason statham i think that's what his name is but like i will say i haven't really read the meg books but i will say that i do know that it was based on like a series of novels and i will say that the movie would actually actually is pretty good it's it's in that genre along with the many other short movies as a what if movie like a what if movie. I just take all the crazy stuff in there, just put it into a movie. You would get a what if movie. I pretty I actually, you know what, I come to think of it. Every single movie is a what if film because all movies are just fiction. So yeah. As now, today, as around many sort of like decades. We are still going to get some shark movies there. We will still get some. And they are not going to be good. Like, like for example, there was this movie. I don't really know if it was made around just recently. or I don't know, but it was made by, I think it was made like a few years ago. It was called Sharks of the Corn. Which is literally just, which is literally just like, what would happen if you take, like, a Stephen King adaptation and just put some weird stuff into it? Literally. It's trying to, like, be, like, its own version of Stephen King's Children of the Corn. Like, seriously. We also had movies like Ouija Shark, which is pretty much just, like, a homage to, like, the Ouija board. Seriously. Just plain... Ugh. Yeah, so... It's like what I was saying, as we will get later on, as years will win by, as years are going to come by, we are going to get some shark movies. And they are all going to be bad. Some will be good. Yeah, I will say some are going to be okay. But just 90% of that is going to be bad. Because I believe good shark movies, in my opinion, are rare to find. Or rare to get. So... Today, I will say, in my opinion, modern-day shark movies today 
are just terrible. The acting in there is... The acting in them are not great. The effects are oh, not good. Just the concept is terrible. And just the fact that... Just the fact that they are around just kind of just feels uncomfortable. Like, in my opinion, we don't really need any of that. We don't really need any of this. So just, why? Why do we need this? Now guys, I'm gonna keep in, keep in mind, this is my opinion. Just my opinion. This is no intention to like harm any person. This is just for constructive criticism. All right? This has no intention to harm any person. So, I guess this is just gonna conclude into my opinions on shark movies. So, that's gonna conclude for this. <clears throat> my, my fault, again. So, if you, want, if you wanna tell me about your opinions on shark movies, you can go ahead and leave that in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion. So, guys, looks like this is going to have to be it. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed my opinion. I really hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was just worth for the almost 30 minutes of this. And I will see you guys hopefully soon. Goodbye.